Hi, I'm here in Maui with Jason Polakow, whose initials are the name of the brand, Kauli Siaji, three times wave sailing world champion and enthusiastic stand-up paddler from Brazil, and a new addition to the team, Kiahi de Aboidas. Jason, let's start off with you. Finally, JP have signed an international SUP rider. How did that happen? Well, I'm just really glad that the management finally decided to, you know, to support a uh, SUP pro. Uh, we really needed one. You know, I myself you really enjoy uh, SUP, but I'm not a pro, um, and I'm you know sort of chasing down a lot of the big waves nowadays. So I'm sort of busy doing that. Um, but I'm really glad that Kiahi is on the team now. He's been recommended from the Australian and New Zealand importer, um, and of course he's Australian, so of course he's got a lot of talent. And uh, I'm just really great that he's on the team, and I welcome him, and I hope he does really well. Kiahi, you recommended yourself with a very high score at one of last year's World SUP Tour events. You actually got the highest score of the whole season. Yeah, I'm really stoked. It was the first event I did last year in September in California and couldn't be happier with the results that I got. I basically, yeah, my second heat in the main round, I had a really good heat and got the only 10 of the SUP Tour so far, so I couldn't be more stoked. And you also came onto the team recently. How does it feel so far? Yeah, I'm really stoked. I've obviously tried some of Werner Nicholas boards and I'm really happy with them. They go really well. And did you also meet Werner up front? Yeah, it was good. I got to meet Werner up front and talk things over and see how it could work in the future. It, it all seemed good, so I went for it. And you're here for the JP photo shoot already? Yeah, so basically I spent the last week on Oahu shooting for JP. We got some, some really good conditions and had some really fun waves over there. Now I'm in Maui just finishing up with some more stuff and we're still getting some fun waves. Next, I fly out to La Torch for the World Tour event and hopefully I do well, it should be a good event. Cowley, can you come over for a quick chat? Yeah. What was your involvement with the JP SUPs? Um, I've been doing sub for quite a few years now and uh, this year I put a lot of time to work with Werner and Jason on the line of the surf and the white body boards. And do you always travel with a sub wherever you go? Um, I really like to have myself, uh, my sub with me and most of the places we go on the tour, you know, like I try to carry a board, you know, the days that we got no wind, we can go a little bit paddling. And um, it's nice also to see the line of the stand-ups really getting extended and I really think we have a lot more to come. Okay, thanks guys. I guess we'll let you guys get off and get out on the water to have a bit of fun. I'm going to call over Martin Brandner, the JP brand manager, who's going to go through the 2013 SUP line. Awesome. Well done, Martin. Guys? Thank you. Thanks, Martin. Fun. Okay, thank you. See you. See you. Okay, see you. Okay, I want to give you a really quick run through the product line of 2013. Actually, we are planning to have uh, individual uh, little videos about all the product lines. Uh, on our website, uh, Werner Kniegler, our shaper, will be doing that. So whoever is interested in more detailed information should check that out. Uh, I will start out with the Sturf SUPs. Here we obviously have the most involvement of Jason and Carl Lee in the past already. And in future, Kiahi will be quite involved in the development of those boards as well. So um, first of all, we have uh, the Surf line, which consists of four sizes in two different technologies the Pro Edition in uh, sandwich construction and the full uh, the, the wood sandwich gloss uh, version of it. And then if we move over here, we have uh, a completely new line which consists of two sizes, a 7.4 and a 8.2, uh, the Surf white body boards. Again, they come in two technologies, uh, Pro Edition in the sandwich construction and the wood sandwich gloss version of, of them. And here we have a complete new addition to the JP SUP line. It's the Fusion line. It consists of uh, three uh, sizes in two technologies again, in the wood um, sandwich gloss construction and in the wood sandwich matte version, as we call it. Uh, basically, the, the main difference is just in the look of the boards. And um, those boards are kind of modern uh, all-round boards. As you can see with a rather pointy nose, they're a little bit shorter and, and wider as the very first generation of all-round boards. But uh, they're great for flat water paddling as well as for uh, uh, paddling in the in smaller surf. And especially also for beginners uh, who want to get started in, in the surf with, with paddling. Um, and what about these ones? They kind of look like the classic style longboard. 
Yeah, that's actually exactly what it is. The, the concept comes from classic longboard surfboards. Uh, again, similar to the fusion boards, they are all-round boards. They're also called all-round. Uh, the line is called all-round. They come again in two constructions, uh, the wood sandwich gloss and the wood sandwich matte version of it. And they are again great flat water pedal boards. They're actually quite fast. We found out that they can even keep up with some uh, uh, race boards of, of some competitors of ours. And uh, they're also nice to be put out in, in the surf again. And over here, um, we have a lady version of the all-round boards. Same four sizes as we're offering in the all-round line, just in a special design version for ladies. And here we have the white body line. They also come in two constructions, uh, the wood sandwich gloss and the wood sandwich mat, just like the all-round boards. They are basically a wider version of all-round boards, which again can be used uh, for flat water paddling and for small waves. But because of the additional width, they give you additional stability, which makes them great for either slightly heavier people or beginners, because they yeah, have this additional stability. And we also offer two of the shapes in a soft deck version. Soft deck is just a little bit more comfortable on your knees when you get on the board. So it's, it's great for, for kids and for beginners. And you will find that construction also a lot in, in our rental places in windsurfing schools and, and so on. Okay, and here we have another soft deck board. Uh, it's called the Cabby. It's actually a concept which is quite close to the Fusion, which we talked about earlier. It's also an all-round board, but a more modern uh, all-round shape, a little bit shorter and wider, as I said before. So again, it's great for beginners uh, because of the shape and because of the deck construction. And these two boards look pretty different compared to all the rest of them. What are they actually for? Well, yes, they do look quite different uh, for a reason. The one here is a cruiser board. We actually offer two sizes uh, of that version. And as the name says it, it's a great um, flat water and actually also open ocean um, paddle board. And it brings you from A to B. You know, it's quite fast. It's maybe not as fast as the race board that I will explain in a second, but it's a really easy going board. And uh, we offer the two sizes in two technologies now in wood sandwich and in the carbon uh, version, which is super light and super stiff. And uh, it also has some additional features like this uh, rubber net in the front, so that you can put uh, whatever, a case of beer, or if you caught a fish, you can put the fish there. In the back, we have special inserts, inserts for a fishing rod holder. So it's kind of a multi-purpose uh, SUP toy. It could also be used for the family, and it's really fun to cruise around with that board. And this is, um, uh, something a little bit more extreme. It's a, a race board. Uh, we offer now uh, two sizes again of race boards, um, 12 6 and a 14 footer. And uh, like the Cruiser, they also come in two technologies, wood sandwich or in uh, the carbon version. The carbon version is really super light and uh, uh, this is now the third generation of race boards that we have. And uh, uh, we originally said that they are flat water race boards but uh, we tested them now also in out in the uh, open ocean and they work great for downwinders for people who are good enough they're also stable enough and uh, we compared them with some of the boards from the competition and we found out that they're really really fast and uh, uh, i think we're gonna see some people winning races on on those boards in the very near future and last but not least we have the so-called windsurf sup line here Actually, I have to mention that all our boards have little inserts to mount a mast base on the board. So you can windsurf with all of them, except for the race board, because here you would damage the, the side rail. But all other boards can be windsurfed as well. And they're actually quite a lot of fun. You know, so that the white body boards and also the all-round boards and fusion boards can be used as windsurf beginner boards. You can uh, cruise around in flat water you can play a little bit in waves, so they really are all multi-purpose uh, toys, especially also for families. And, and here, the, the, what we call windsurf SUPs, they are a little bit more developed towards the use of, of windsurfing, the additional use of windsurfing. 
First of all, we have the Young Gun windsurf SUP, as we call it. Comes with the soft deck, which is great for kids, obviously. Then uh, the twin fins in the back and the center fin in the middle to uh, stabilize the board and to prevent you from drifting when you windsurf with it. So that's really a, a great toy for kids. Then we have kind of the similar uh, idea for adults um, uh, with uh, it's a white body shape uh, and uh, also has the additional center fin as you see it on the board here and uh, this board actually comes in two technologies with the soft deck and also in a wood sandwich construction and the very last board is uh, another um, windsurf SUP that comes with a fully retractable dagger board so the dagger board you can put it either out or in if you want to windsurf with it and this is really an ideal beginner board um, for windsurfing and for stand-up paddling and it's really a, a great board that we also sell a lot to our rental places yeah and i think that that rounds it up so we have a, a line now for 2013 from really small surfboards up to race boards cruiser boards and the windsurf subs so i think we have a really nice program to offer for 2013.